I do understand it. Mm-hmm. I do. But yeah. I just I don't think it's needed right now. I yeah. don't think you got to rock that boat. Yeah. So don't don't pull the Aaliyah. Rock the boat. Rock. I know you ain't heard that song. I just about. feel like you don't want to waste the growth that we did as a team last year. Mm. Deontay was a part of that. I because I, I feel like you'd just be restarting. That experience matters. You see, you think it's restarting. I think people are gonna look at it two ways. People are gonna look at it if they are a little bit more cautious, they're gonna take the approach you just said. You don't wanna reset that growth. You wanna keep everything going smooth. But then you're going to have the ones that are a little bit more just progressive and forward thinking and say, it's not going to hurt them. All you're doing is plugging in a younger player that can give you close to what Deontay is, but we're going to offset that loss with the growth of a George Pickens. And we know we got Pat Frymouth, and it's always just the positive optimist optimism. And they're not going to be thinking about, well, what if this rookie doesn't come in here and give you Deontay Johnson? Or what if a sophomore slump? Or what if something happens, you know, this guy just takes a little bit longer to develop? It just makes it a little bit more challenging on Kenny on the offense. I just think it's one of those things, depending on who they're, you know, who the person we're talking to is, how they're gonna look at that Deontay Johnson move. On paper, it makes uh, on Madden on paper yeah. it makes a hundred percent sense, but this is reality, and you're dealing with humans. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Again, I, I feel like what the team went through last year, and particularly as an offense, when you have guys like. Kenny and Deontay, they started mm-hmm. to develop a report as the season went on. Now they're working yeah. this off season. I feel like that matters, especially with Kenny coming yeah, into his second man. year. You could sell me on this is Kenny's tenth or eleventh year. Mm-hmm. It's different. I, I think maybe this is the receivers huge, are a little bit more expendable at that point in his right career. Now, but no, going into his second year, you got a guy that you're starting to build trust with. Yeah. That you've been to battle with last year and your first mm-hmm. year, and not everything was going good. And y'all had but you to, started y'all to turn it around. Adversity together. You I feel built like that it together. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, no, I would keep Deontay. Respect. Respect. It doesn't stop me from drafting a receiver. Again, it doesn't stop me if you want to get a Zay Flowers or Addison or anything, yeah. but keep Deontay. Yeah. Don't go all in this offseason and shake up everything you've been building from last mm-hmm. season on and through this offseason. Yeah. That's my take. Facts, bro. Physics.